could have hidden that amulet anywhere in Tamriel, and this was your first choice? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Brilliant. Why is it that the people with the most ridiculous ideas are always the ones who are most certain of them? Shut up, Shut Tharn. Up, Tharn. Brings you to Sacre Tor, old friends. Looking for an amulet, perhaps? When the Marco. How did you find this place? Do you really think I'd allow you to escape the halls of torment if I couldn't track your every movement? Sai, no! Menemarco, stop! You're killing him! Where is the amulet of kings? My master, Moloch Bob, demands it! Your master, please. You would use the amulet to betray Molag Baal. Phew! When I ascended, you could have been at my right hand, Tharn. Instead, you chose to align yourself with mongrels and imbeciles. Now, you'll die with them. You won't get away with this. Do you really think you can betray a Daedric prince? With the amulet of kings, all things are possible. Nations will tremble and bow before me. I will be a god! Then the Amulet of Kings will never be yours. It is protected by a ward of the Divines! You mean your ward of Stendhal, god of merciful forbearance, patron of gutless law-abiding dimwits? It won't even slow me down. Margo has been watching our every move. We led him right to the amulet. Menemarco may be powerful enough to break through Stendar's ward eventually. If we can get to the shrines quickly and receive Stendar's blessing, we can pass through the ward, but leave it in place. He may not be able to follow for some time. We must make our way to the inner courtyard. From there we can access the chambers where the shrines are located. Are you well enough to continue? <sighs> Have no fear, Snow Lily. I am Red God. We are like mountain bamboo. <sighs> Far stronger and more flexible than we might appear. I find it hilarious that Manamarco chose such a massive projected appearance. He's obviously overcompensating for something. Through that gate lies the Crypt of Heroes. You can enter if you wish, but it is a foul place where the dead are restless and angry. Persistent, aren't you? Do you really think you can keep me from acquiring the amulet? The amulet of kings is under the protection of Stendar's ward. It will never be yours. Ah, uh, Sai. You still don't understand, do you? My plan will succeed because of your ward of Stendar. It will prevent Molag Baal from observing or interfering. By the time the ward is down and the amulet is mine, it will already be too late. You're insane if you think you can betray the god of schemes. Naive child, you know nothing. Chimel Adabal, the red diamond at the center of the Amulet of Kings, is the most powerful soul gem ever created. With the Amulet in my possession, I will absorb Morlock Baal's power, reducing him to an empty husk of ethereal flesh. Then I will trap his essence within the gem. be forgotten. In time, all of Tamriel will bow down before me. Soon, the god of schemes will have a new name. Manim Marco.
friends, I... I must rest before we continue. Sai, are you all right? That bastard really hurt you, didn't he? I swear to the gods, I'll take his head off. Yeah. Oh, I'll be fine, Snow Lily. I... I just need a moment to catch my breath. Take all the time you need. I'll keep watch. If there's anything I can do, just name it. An enchanting moment. I'll be over here bringing up my lunch. Seth's tears. I thought I could handle this. And then Amarco's sorcery brought back all of the pain and doubt I felt inside the halls of torment. I've pushed my body much further than this. It is my mind that pains me. When Amarco filled my head with shattered memories, they're like broken glass. Every beat of my heart, they stab into me. That voice, Menomarco's voice, it taunted me over and over in an endless cycle for years on end. He never broke my will, but he broke something. I will make it through this, my friend. I did not endure years of torture in the Halls of Torment, only to give up now. <sighs> My pain has subsided. Let us make haste and finish this. We must consecrate the two shrines with Stendar's blessing before the vault can be opened. The first shrine rests in the Dragon Guard tomb, where so many of my fallen comrades were interred. We must take care to respect their resting place. is on the far side of the room. Quickly, we must find our way across. I have a surprise for you, Sai. Do you remember your fallen comrades from the Dragon Guard? I've taken the liberty of raising them, and they're quite angry.
empower us with your wisdom and vision. Help us to right the wrongs of this world through your grace and with your guidance. Encourage us as we smite the wicked and punish the unjust. Now, we have only to consecrate the second shrine before we can enter the vault. certainly did a thorough job hiding the amulet, Sai. Couldn't you have just stuffed it in a mattress or something? <sighs> the second shrine is in the chamber beyond. There is a trick to reaching it. A puzzle of sorts. I do not recall its solution. The altar is on the far side, but to reach it, the drawbridge must be lowered. Kill them! Beseech you to lower your wards and grant us safe passage into the Vault of Kings.
corridors, crumbling walls, nauseating smells. This place has all the charm of a rift and brothel. It must feel very much like home to you, Titan. You mean a crypt filled with the rotting corpses of inbred kings and failed statesmen? Must be what it's like at a Tharn family reunion. It is much more pleasant in the summer months. Amulet of Kings, I will be transformed. All the nations of Tamriel will bow before me. They will worship me and beg for my mercy. All will know the name of Mani Marco as their one true god. You'll never get away with it, Mani Marco. We'll fight you to our last breath. By all means, my old friends. Try and stop me.
to the Vault of Kings. The shrines have been consecrated in Stendar's name. Now you must use the Ring of Stendar's mercy to open the vault doors. Stand in the casting circle and direct the Ring of the Doors to lift the ward. The door should open wide. Look, the amulet. I can see it from here.
Tamriel has ever known. This is merely a transition. My first step towards true immortality. Thou witness my true power! Watch as I rise up from the grave and ascend to godhood! Worm! You think you can betray the Lord of Brutality and Domination without consequence? You will pay for your arrogance. You will writhe in agony for the rest of eternity. Your tortured screams will echo throughout oblivion to serve as a warning to others. Characteristically optimistic of you, Titanborn. I may have that embroidered on a pillow. The Divines gave you a nose for a reason, Tharn. So you can keep your mouth shut and still keep breathing. Well played, Titanborn. Well played. <sighs> we are finished here. It's time to go home. of kings is ours once again. Madame Arca will pay dearly for the rest of eternity. One cannot out-scheme the god of schemes without paying a heavy price. I cannot imagine the torment that awaits him. Sai Sahan must rest, as must we all. We can sleep a little easier knowing the King of Worms has been defeated, but we cannot rest too long. Molog Bal is still a great threat, and the plane melt must be stopped, or this will all be for naught. I've not forgotten, Vestage. It's another piece of the puzzle, and we shall address it in due time. But for now, let us rest and recover. As always, I will contact you soon. Walk in the light, Vestage. Assemble once more. Travel to the harborage. It is time for our final preparation. 